Yeah, well, that goes my good boner joke. Well, since I got the um, the, the stiff end of that one, <laughs> I don't mind. Yeah, for a good load. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we we started recording, but we found out the uh, microphone wasn't on, and Gene had a good boner joke. Do you want to do it again? I no, think you have to, there was a particular setup to it. There was I, a particular setup to it. I don't remember how it. you set it up. Uh, it was it was. I'll I'll talk, I, I can get Guybrush Fleetwood to do it. Examine bed. Looks comfortable. And then I said, yeah, I love having a corpse draped over me at night, on a cold night. Oh, yeah, and I said, I, 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 I like uh, sitting on a good boner myself. That's right. See. I'm going to pull up the uh, um, Universal Hint system, just in case. Okay. Yeah, we, we were, uh, before we found out that we were having some recording trouble, uh, we were a little bit stymied about um, the next progression of the story. Yeah, it's always tricky when you're playing um, a puzzle game, uh, like, after many years of having played it originally. Yeah. You remember, vaguely remember certain things, but not a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I can't use the mallet with that. Yeah, I think we need something like a crowbar. A crowbar, huh? So many things he could use if only he used his imagination. Yeah, now if it were SpongeBob SquarePants, we'd be, you know... There it is. All we have to do is just pull up the next scene. Mm-hmm. Let's see, you're, <laughs> you're drinking coffee, I'm drinking Maker's Mark. Okay, now let's see what Charles Lawton has to say. The volcano has erupted! Yes, I know. The Good Soup Empire is saved. <laughs> ah, this is the happiest day of my life. Next to the day Grandpa invented the steak crispy and soup oyster cracker. Well, I'm happy for you. Soon the resort will be flooded with tourists coming to see the volcano. And I can finally put on the show I was working on the last time we had guests. King Lear? What show is that? <laughs> Voulez-vous vicious soirs? A dramatic musical about a talented young Parisian soup chef who is cruelly taken down by the Paris culinary establishment for her revolutionary ideas about soup preparation. I'm sure it'll be a big hit. I'm, I'm sure it will be warmly received. <laughs> That's a good Vichy Soise joke. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Oh, we need to prove that we are a, a good soup. Oh, okay. And we can use the book to prove to him that we are a good soup. All right. Let's see here. Let's, let's, let's see how. Uh, let's see how blue. How's business? Oh, it's just wonderful. Now that the volcano is erupting again, the reservations are just pouring in. And what telephone? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, I think this will. I'm off to explore yeah. the rustic charms of Blood Island. All right. Now we can use the uh, good soup family history plan. Well, I can't use the book with that. Give Good Soup Family History to Good Soup. There we go. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. Oh. Let's see. Let's see here. A laminated business card. What if I proposition him? Will that prove to him I'm a good soup? Maybe. Have you examined the book a little more? Maybe? Okay. Examine the book. It's full of all the dates and fun facts you'd ever want to know about the good soup family. And it says I'll receive a new book every month, or cancel with no obligation. And keep my copy of Buccaneers and Bouillabaisse Bays as a free gift. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up real quick. Okay. All right. It's a bunch of old portraits of the Van Salad family. And I thought the good soups were a homely bunch. Hey, that one looks like your girlfriend. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. 
Looks like there is a, a dialogue option in, in with with Mr. Gudzu. Okay. We don't have to go all through all of them. All right, and we'll we'll do that with Mr. Gudzu. I'm just sure Charles Lawton is happy he doesn't have to play this role with Alvin Costello again. <laughs> I'd like a drink, please. Here you go, lady. Yeah, just take I take the drink. Okay. Ah, Papa Pichu. Here's your glass back. Okay. Oops. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, what do you know about the lost ring of Blood Island? <laughs> That's a very sad chapter in my family's history. My great aunt, Minnie Stroney Goodsoup, was a well-to-do member of Blood Island society. Her one weakness was her romantic nature. She had a thing for pirates, one in particular. He came into port, she fell instantly in love, and they were engaged within the week. Then, on the eve of their wedding, he stole the fantastic Goodsoup diamond from her ring and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. She wore the empty engagement band on her finger until the day she died, which was not long after. Some say she still haunts the Good Soup family tomb. It is a sad story, is it not? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, could you repeat that? Get lost, chowder head. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I thought I, I died. Thought... Oh, yeah, the second one. I thought if I died, I'd be buried with your aunt. Well, isn't it obvious? You can't be buried in the Good Soup family crypt unless you're a member of the Good Soup family. A member of the family, eh? Let's see, uh, we want... Uncle Griswold? Yeah. Uncle Griswold, it's me! Don't you recognize me? Recognize you? I've never seen you before in my life. What is your name? You can choose uh, anyone you want, apparently. Okay. Ooh, I'm in the mood for some hearty beef and potato. Yeah. Hearty beef and potato. <laughs> hearty beef and potato? I come from good Irish stock. <laughs> mm. I don't recall having any relatives with that name. And I could just talk about good soup history all day. Okay. And I, I could just talk about good soup history all day. How about that first fateful journey made to the Caribbean? Oh, you mean the one that... Baron Salmon Bisque the Good Soup began in 1621? Exactly. He landed on Scab <laughs> Island with just a spoon and a dream. In just four short years, just, he had formed the, the largest chain of all <laughs> soup restaurants them. in the Western Hemisphere. By 1635, he had driven the entire Van Salad family out of the Caribbean <laughs> and had a restaurant empire that You don't spanned make friends with salad. You don't make friends with Actually, salad. the Van Salads were not driven out until 1637, yeah. and the Good Soup chain of restaurants and resorts never did become popular in the South Pacific. <laughs> yes, we are. All right. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Well, son, it looks like now we get to take right. the ring again. Welcome oh, wait, no, back we need to, do one to more the thing. glorious we need to get the name of Good Sam. Okay, uh, I'm uh, honored. And as a good soup, you're welcome to every benefit the name provides. Instant prestige around Blood Island. A 10% discount to any of the good soup resorts in the Caribbean. And, wow, of course, <laughs> medical, dental, and the 401k. Work. And the best thing of all. If you should happen to drop dead, you will be buried in the extravagant Good Soup family crypt. It's as if all my dreams have come true. It, right. It's funny that the idea of family crypts uh, um, always fascinated me when I was a kid, but I always kept worrying, like thinking, well, what happens when you run out of room? Because, <laughs> you know, families yeah. can get big fast in some cases, and, and you know, uh, burial plots are expensive, so yeah. I keep. And especially if you build like a real fancy crypt, I mean, you're gonna run out of niches. I, I was thinking <laughs> of there there is a, a crypt for the uh, for the Spanish royal family, uh -huh. and um, I think the burial chamber was built in the Baroque area, so so maybe 17th century. But oh, <laughs> look at Stan. Ev evidently, they figured they figured it would be filled up with um, with 
with Spanish royals. But I was just thinking about, say, you know, mm. all the empty spaces, just waiting for the next um, the next king yeah. to drop dead, to fill in. That didn't happen. Yeah. Oh, no, it did happen. Oh, okay. It did happen, but everything worked out. Okay. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. <laughs> so we need to get... We can apparently use the gold tooth as our collateral or whatever. Okay. You convince, you convince me. me. I want to buy some insurance. A wise choice, and one you won't soon regret. The question isn't whether or not you can afford to buy an insurance policy, it's whether you can afford not to. Speaking of which, can you afford to buy an insurance policy? Well, how much does it cost? Oh, that depends on a variety of factors. How much coverage you need, how much you're willing to spend, all sorts of highly complicated sliding scale insurance equations and such. But I won't bore you with all that. Just let me ask you this. How much money do you have? Well, I've got these wooden nickels. I see. Maybe I've confused you somewhere along the line. While nothing would please me more to send you out of here, with the peace of mind that your family will be provided for in the unlikely event of your death, I have to run a business here. If you can't at least show me some collateral, I can't give you a policy. Collateral. Let's see. Is the tooth in there? An authentic pirate tooth. There you go. This authentic pirate relic. A genuine tooth from an actual pirate. Only one of its kind. Is that real gold? <laughs> the finest known to man. Not much spit on it either anymore. <laughs> now you're starting to speak my language. All right, let's find a coverage plan that suits your needs. And you can rest assured that you provided for your family well after your unfortunate departure. What are the terms of this plan exactly? It's quite simple, son. When you die, whoever holds that policy gets a lot of money. A lot of money? Wow. Wow is right. <laughs> now I want you to be careful out there. Okay, I will. <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> I want you to be very, very careful. Will do. <laughs> okay. Now we can go drink that, 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 uh, mix more of that, uh, uh, had to be clear with uh, a drink. Okay, we're gonna wind up back here again. Well, we're gonna end up in the in the family crypt. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get my discount. Hmm. <laughs> I'd like a drink, please. Coming right up. Okay. I'll get the head to be clear first. There we go. Yeah. Nice and frothy. Now you can drink it. Oh, darn it. Sorry. You spiked the tree. What is this, a black music game? He's had a sudden and completely unexpected relapse of death. <laughs> <laughs> and just as we were getting reacquainted, as his kinsman, it is my duty to give him a proper burial. It is my solemn vow, young, hearty beef and potato, <laughs> to be buried in the Good Soup family crypt. All right. <laughs> Look around. Okay. I think you look up that crack. <laughs> With pleasure. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Yeah, look at Crumbling Hole. Okay. Hey, there's a hole in the ceiling of this crypt. I think I might be able to squeeze through. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's a tunnel that opens on a deep, dark forest. It looks familiar somehow. <laughs> As if I've seen it in a dream. Or maybe it's. Oh, I don't know. Great jumping monkeys! <laughs> a terrifying horde of stunningly rendered rabbit jaguars! They're coming right at me! <laughs> Whew. It's a good thing I that couldn't get through that hole. Game. I'd be done for. Did they uh, excuse the lack of graphics? It's a memorial game? plaque for mini strony good soup. No, the, uh, they're, they're kind of what is more poking fun at the, the change in graphics, but uh, th there was also a similar gag in the first game where you looked down a uh, an open stump, and yikes, 
and he uh, uh, and he says, "Wow, the, a, 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 a complex system of labyrinthine cor- corridors." <laughs> uh, and then and it's and it says, uh, "You know, please insert disc number like." 396 and he says well I don't have that disc so I guess I can't play that part of the game okay so but that that part of the that confused people they didn't a lot of gamers uh, players did not understand that that was a, a, a gag mm-hmm. and they wrote wrote to uh, the company asking is I missing that disc and so they, they ended up uh, deleting the the the, um, they, the, deleted the gag the from some su- subsequent version of the game I'm sorry guy Roche, you were just too 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 deadpan yeah uh, I just want to comment on the on the beautiful reveal of this ghost here. Yeah, yeah. isn't it good? Yeah, it was very good. It actually surprised me when I first played it. Yeah. It's a ghost in a bride's gown. She looks very sad and lonely. Oh. <laughs> well, that spoiled that effect. Talk to Ghost Bride. Um. Oh, hello there. Who are you and what are you doing here? I am Minnie Good Soup, last in a long line of eligible Good Soup debutantes. Yeah. I was buried here exactly one week after my wedding day. A wedding day that never came. What happened? I was the belle of Blood Island. How many people can claim that? (laughs) Oh, how the lands are going to go. uh, I was uh, courted by the richest, most handsome men in the Caribbean. But all my suitors bored me to tears. I wanted someone dangerous. I wanted a pirate. By the way, what do you do for a living? Flooring inspector. Oh. Then one day, a real pirate sailed his ship into the bay. I fell for him instantly, and we became engaged. But he left me standing at the altar, and I died of a broken heart. Wow, that bites. <laughs> oh, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Hey, nice ring. <laughs> Was it something I said? I hate this ring. It's been passed down from mother to daughter in the Good Soup family for generations. It was to be my wedding ring until that evil pirate stole the diamond and left me. Left me here to die of a broken heart. Were there any other suitors you found attractive? Well, (laughs) there was one I could have fallen for. Young Charles de Goulash. He had (laughs) such a radiant smile. What Guess who the corpse is in know, that room? It's funny. Goulash? Yes. I don't know. He checked into the hotel one night and I them. never saw him again. Go into the light. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell her. <laughs> no. Do that. How would I get out of this crypt, maybe? How do I get out of this crypt? There's no way out of this crypt for either of us. I must haunt this lonely tomb until I've married a man I truly love. And you can't leave because the door's locked. What happened to that young man you liked so much? The last time I saw Charles, he had checked into the hotel. Yeah, I think at this point we just need to search around. I just don't want to say, uh, like, this is creepy to me. And I don't want to say go into the light. Okay. So can I just end the conversation? You have to click one of the oh, ending. Fine. This is just a shade too creepy for me. I'm leaving. Fine, be a jerk. Goes out to the cemetery. All right. Is there anything we yeah, can use I think there's something at the far end, other end of the uh, crypt that we can interact with. Okay. Are we late? Uh, what do we have Ooh, here? Look what's in there. Oh, okay. Oh, a crowbar. 
Oh, we also should examine the crack. Something giggled at us. Yeah. Good soup is food. This is going to be oh. so cool. Let's look through the crack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not going to do that again. I think I broke my skull. I'm all skull. It's your own fault. Stop scaring me like that. <laughs> so I can scare you? Really? Well, startled is more like it. Oh. B but startled in a terrified kind of way. You really are very, very scary. Don't talk down to me. I really don't have any choice. I saw you get out of that crypt. Does this mean that you're dead? No, I was only faking. Darn. I thought together we could walk among the living and spawn a new wave of terror throughout the Caribbean! So what you're saying is that you only love me for my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get Murray? Yeah, let's take a look at Murray. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> we'll find something useful around. Very good. Hey, it's more. Yeah, we're looking after that crack. We, we need to take some things. Okay, can we get more to some novel? I can't reach. How about the lantern? How about the lantern? I can't reach. Hmm, do we have anything long and pointy? Oh, umbrella. I can't use the umbrella with that. Hmm. I can't use the umbrella with that. 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 I can't use this. the umbrella with that. I can't use the umbrella with that. Okay. Crowbar. I can't use the crowbar with that. Okay. Did you click on the other thing? What? Oh. The lantern? Sorry. I can't reach. Hmm. Arietta, a dead end. Oh, maybe the, maybe the, uh, the, the skeletal arm. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> I've got it. Hey, what happened to the light? Yeah, we need to get him to uh, uh, open the the uh, the gate. Okay. We're, we're gonna spook him. All right, we're gonna use more for that. Yeah, I think we're gonna use more in the lantern. Okay. Murray, do your stuff. <laughs> okay. Move. <laughs> <laughs> Mortal fool, release me from this wretched tomb. I must be set free, or I will haunt you forever. I will hide your keys beneath the cushions of your upholstered <laughs> furniture. And never more will Obey. you be able to find socks that match. All right, hang on. I'm coming. <laughs> Great work, Murray. I... I was terrifying, wasn't I? My demonic powers have made me omnipotent! <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks what like I the wonder is who, who was in this, uh, uh, crypt. It's open. Now shuffle off and give me peace. <laughs> Maybe the original good soup. Yeah. And it's useless now that it's out of oil. <laughs> How do you know that? Okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go claim our reward. I'm. <laughs> I'm. It's it's useless trying to debate with this game. All right, we'll be back, Toots. I'm sorry I was so rude to you. to look up like our death certificate in the... Hey, in the... hey, Guybrush. There sure are a lot of skeletons in here. Uh-oh. Quick, pull the head off one and stick me on top of the spine! <laughs> I don't think I want you walking around freely, Murray. Oh, please! <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Okay, well, we Murray, are you ready to continue our heady adventuring? Murray? Yeah. Where'd he go? Meh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's go see if we can, uh, what we can do up there. Okay. Hey, what an amazing story I have to tell. <laughs> I was dead, but I live again. Who wants to hear about it? Eh, you guys don't deserve to hear a good story. Yeah, let's go check the records. Ah, oh, there oh, we go. There's our death again. There we go. Let's go take that to Yoink. scan. All right. Hmm, I think I'll 
let's achieve everything. That's... Da, da, da. Look at those lovely lanterns. They're all shaped yeah. like tiki heads. Or gummy bears. Or gummy bears. Oh, let me go that way. Ah, thank you. There we go. Okay. Welcome back to Mutual <laughs> Yeah, well, I need to be surprised. Yeah. Now pull out that death certificate. Okay. And slap it right in his face. Oh, it's over there. Oh. There it is. I'm cashing in this insurance policy. Give me a lot of money. <laughs> but this is a life insurance policy. You collect when the policyholder dies. No, honest. I <laughs> was dead for a really long time. And you just got better? Well, yes. Do you, you have any proof of this miracle? <laughs> As a matter of fact, smart guy, I've got your proof right here. A death certificate. Well. This was, must uh, be some kind of mistake. Uh-uh, it's right there in high <laughs> res, black and white. I die. Give me a I lot mean, of money. It's not like the uh, the insurance agent for a good people. No. Usury, you know. Yes. Huh. Hmm. It looks like I'm left with no choice but to acquiesce. No, just give me my money. <laughs> That's what I need. Oh, thanks. Is it in teeth? Yeah, we'll check. Oh, no, no, it's actual money, okay. okay. I thought it was in a bunch of gold teeth. Alright, bye scan. Okay, so now... Go back to... Oh, to... yeah, we need to we need to uh, fling the lover so we can get... Uh... Oh, that's right, we'll, t we'll take she's the... Gonna the give, we'll she's gonna give boards. us... Yeah, she will uh, give us uh, her ring. Okay. And we can use that with the diamond when we get it. Alright, very good. I remember this being fun. <laughs> yes, yeah. that was you, Charles Lawton. <laughs> now the other ones. Okay. The ones on the on the bottom of the bed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Crowbar. <laughs> here he goes. <laughs> Exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Charles, how you nah. flatter me. Oh, but you must go now. But why? Now that I've found you again after all these years. What would our families say if they knew we Frank were alone Lager. together on such nah. a romantic night? Minnie, this may sound rash, but I... I love you, Minnie Good Soup. Oh, Charles, you mustn't. Oh, I can't help it. I've always loved you. Do you hear? I've always loved you, Minnie, and I always will. Come away with me now. Hello? Oh, but Charles, it just isn't done. Think of the scandal it would cause. To heck with the scandal, <laughs> Minnie. Oh. Marry me. Oh, yes, Charles. Yes. A thousand times. Yes. Then kiss me, my love. Ah, doesn't the southern accent fill you with a sense of romance? Nah, the, the look on that angel's face! <laughs> Yay, we got the ring. Alright. Now let's go back to Skull, to Island. Skull Island, yeah. Skull Island and get our diamond, because we have money now. Doesn't, doesn't, uh... Look how tiny those steps are. They're for her, her petite little feet. Ah, good point. Her petite southern belle feet, although they never should have anticipated her walking around anyway. Well, you never know. Email back at the ranch. <laughs> back at the ranch? <laughs> Have you found her, you cadaverous canine? Yeah. <laughs> uh, nope. Nope. 
She's not on Plunder Island, Captain LeChuck. <laughs> then scour the seas, you ossified rats! Hunt them down, then bring them to me. Find me Guy Rush Greatwood. It's with him that you'll find Elaine. Burn down every island in the Caribbean if you have to. But bring me my bride! And more slaw! <laughs> Curse those villains! They never give you enough slaw with these value meals. <laughs> I think that's my favorite gag. It is really good. Because it, it always makes me want to have coleslaw. <laughs>